Well, hello, my friend, and welcome to my channel. Today, I've got Ninja Polish, Ninja Polish Shillelagh, and I'm a stamp. And I am going to be starting off with Dainty Digits, Glitter Be Gone, and Ninja Polishes Shillelagh. I bought this years ago, so I have no idea if this stuff is still even available. But it's a beautiful green with a goldy bronze, like, crazy shimmer going on underneath there. This is one of my favorites, and I only use it once a year around this time, so it's very special. But the first coat goes on rather streaky, and I'm okay with that because the second coat, oh, it just builds it up so pretty. I just love it. You can see them colors bouncing off of that brush and that light. Mm, gorgeous. Here we go. We're going to go in with the second coat of Shillelagh. Loving it. And this is one of those polishes when I put it on, I don't want to put anything on it. I don't want to do anything to it. I don't want to touch it. I just want to wear it just like it is and admire it. But, you know, the junkie in me says, you got to do something to it. So, we're going to do something to it, <laughs> of course. Hey, Woody, how you doing? You know, he's a busy little fella because Mama's so shaky. She's making a mess. I'm going to top it off with some Pro FX Quick Dry Top Coat that I got at Walmart. And um, thanks to my friend Randy that turned me on to this one because I really do like it. Um, I'm still working on learning how to use that wa long wand because it collects a lot of the product on the wand. So you got to be careful brushing that off. But it's a good one. I'll be using Wistonia W105 and Wistonia W318 stamping plates. I'll be using Funky Fingers, Dark Knight, and Funky Fingers, Gesso, and that's just the black and white creams. I'll be using that little rectangular stamper, and I'll be dotting with this Nicole Diary Gold here in just a little bit with my little dotting tool. Nothing all crazy. I could have used any gold for that, but, you know. I'm going to do some double stamping today. I'm going to stamp this design on um, some of my nails, and I'm going to do it in white first and then stamp over it in black as you know we ain't got to play nails in a while and now the girl's all junked up and having to get her fixed so we're going to do some double stamping and take care of that need you know just enjoy it and have fun with it I cannot tell you how much I have missed this there we go doing that kind of off center stamping so that both colors can Kind of pop through. Go clean that plate off with some pure acetone and go over here to this other one and use these four leaf clovers. I know technically they're not shamrocks, they're four leaf clovers, but I use them every year because to me that's part of it. And I'm going to put a big one and a little one on my accent nails. And I'm going to do them in white and then black just like I did those other ones just because. And it doesn't really look like a four-leaf clover anymore, especially with the colors I've used. And I'm okay with that. It's, you know, every year I have to do some kind of funky version of my version. You know, I gotta make it funky. I just have to. I have to do something off the wall crazy. And this year, these little black and white four-leaf clovers are it. <laughs> Uh-oh, something didn't stick. There we go. We're going to redo that one. There we go. Yay, got it on there. I oh, hate it when that whole design don't stick. But I am missing a little bit, so I'm going to just go in with the dotting tool. And just kind of dot some, you know, black in here. This is how you fix things, or this is how I fix things. Because I'm not going to go to the trouble of redoing all that if I can just take a dotting tool and a little dot of polish and fix it. You know, make it not noticeable. There we go with the little one. The little one's so cute. Little tiny thing. There we go. Got some double stamping done on that one. And I wanted to leave, you know, on those fingers, I wanted to leave out, you know, some of that, let some of that shillelagh polish jump on out and through there. Now we're going to go back to this plate and do my pinky nail. And get it to match my pointer and my thumb. There we go. Clean that plate off so that we get a 
black stamped image instead of like a gray one because that's what would happen if I left that white on there. It looked kind of gray. It's not the look I was going for. So here we go. Plop that one on there. And ta-da. We got our stamping and dotting done. And here we go. I'm going to break out. Well, I've got to do the dotting on this one. I'm totally not paying attention. So I got a little dot of the Nicole Diary Gold out. And I'm just going to put a dot in the center of those four leaf clovers. It makes them more look like flowers, but uh, I just I felt like it needed something. And there we go. I'm going to go in with a piece of tape and pull up this excess stamping that's all over my fingers. And this is coming up perfect. I'm not even going to have to really do any cleanup with cleanup brush. That is just fantastic. We all know how much I love that. I'm going to top it off with some posh top coat. And I'm sorry I'm out of frame. Working that thumbnail. You know, i got to hold it funny and just... Normally, I do that one off camera anyway, so <laughs> maybe that's why, because I can't get it to stay in frame. Hopefully, this will... There we go. Thank you, camera. Stop being fuzzy. But I do really like this one. It's my funky take on a St. Patrick's Day manicure. Um, I didn't have a lot of time to play and think about things. I just kind of had to throw something together in my head and go for it. And considering all that, I think it turned out pretty good. Pretty happy with it. So, but as usual, I would love to hear what you think about this one. If you like it, if you think it's just too too crazy, or, you know, just let me know what you think. There you go. Ta done. Ta da. And here is my swatch photo. And that is it for today. So thanks for watching. And until next time, be good to yourself. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.